Hello again, and thanks for staying with us this afternoon on day two of the Trinidad and Tobago Energy Conference 2024, coming to you from the Hyatt Trinidad Hotel here in Port of Spain. Hello to all our viewers joining us from around the world. We've had quite a successful action-packed, content-filled conference to date. And joining us right now is one of our exhibitors. There are over 83 different exhibit booths in the hall. Um, Anthony Vera is from HHSL. You've been in the business for over 23 years. You've been participating in the conference for about 12 years or so. He has operations in Guyana, of course, here in Trinidad and Tobago, and looking to expand regionally. Anthony, having been in the environment for so long, you've seen the ups and the downs. You've seen the roller coaster ride that we've been on, the highs and the lows. And we're back on our way up with some very exciting news and, and developments taking place in the local energy yep. landscape. What are your thoughts about looking at what's ahead of us? What are your thoughts from your company's point of view? Of view? So we're very excited with what's happening. We're very upbeat um, with not just what's happening in Trinidad, but in the region, Guyana, Suriname. And uh, we have, as a, as a company, we have looked at other ways to to satisfy the needs of the, the markets, both locally and regionally. Um, uh, so with the, the new gas development taking place, we are seeing an, an, an increase in the requirements for work, um, safety training. So our company is into safety services. We started out in 1997 mm -hmm. with offshore safety training and onshore safety. That is still growing. We are um, over 27 international approvals for safety training. And, and so we, we're very busy with that. And then we have had to branch off. We got into the specialist manpower. It's so all the turnarounds, all the shutdowns. As the plants get older, they, they require more shutdowns and turnarounds. Mm -hmm. You have planned outages, you have unplanned outages. So we have the manpower to handle standby rescue services, right? So that keeps us very busy. And we're now offering that service in Guyana. And then fast forward to six years ago, we saw, I'm a former helicopter pilot, and we would use helicopters to do flare inspections offshore. Mm -hmm. And a couple of years ago, well, they're using now drones to do those, do those very same inspections. So we started out with drones, and we have now branched out significantly with robotic crawlers, ROVs, drones to do UT testing. So it is all very exciting. And, and, and of course, it all boils back down to safety. How can this technology minimize the need to put people in harm's way? You know, can we, do we need to send people into pipes to inspect when we have a crawler that can go in? Do we need to put people up at height on scaffold or rope access when we have a drone that will fly at whatever height with a UT sensor do a test and give you the readings on the ground in a shorter space of time and with less significantly less risk. So it's all very interesting and very exciting what is happening here. I would imagine the appetite for advancements in technology like this would be quite strong. Have you found that? I have found that and we've had a very, very good turnout here from the upstream operators and the downstream operators to the technology we have on display here today. Uh, and yesterday. So, um, you know, I, I'm very much upbeat and excited what I have seen here over the last two days. And when you can get the CEO to come to the boot, right, his HR, his HSE, his engineering team says, you got to come down here. And they come and they see and, and they get a good explanation. We are doing meeting testing, you know, and um, that is a requirement for all the big oil companies, um, uh, you know, oil and gas methane project 2.0. A lot of companies, BP, Shell, mm -hmm. EOG, um, Woodside have all signed on, Atlantic just signed on to OGMP 2.0. And under the charter, they're required to do annual testing. We're the only ones doing that in front of We're using a drone. So we're certified. So it's exciting. We've completed Woodside. We've completed um, Shell. We've completed BP, Cassia, A, B, and C platform. Local company, local content, doing it mm -hmm. you know, and, and saving foreign exchange. You sound like you're very excited about the opportunities which you're finding and which are being presented as well to you. Uh, the theme of the conference has been accelerating action. It sounds like you've already been accelerating a lot of action. What do you think could be improved? Um, 
to make things easier and to make most of the opportunities that are in front of your company right now? I would say, you know, that certain processes, so like importation processes, the our 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 industry is regulated, mm-hmm. right? Whether it be by civil aviation or, or other bodies, and and um I think that is the biggest hurdle is getting responses in a certain time, mm-hmm. especially when you go to like a, you have an emergency situation. So we are we are prepared. We have the equipment to respond in event of an emergency, whether it's an oil spill offshore, oil spill near shore, um, a fire explosion somewhere or the other. And and what we don't want to have happen is we are delayed in responding because we can't get permissions to do and launch, etc. Mm-hmm. So, you know, other, other than that, the companies see the value, they see the need, right? And it's already a proven process. We're all internationally certified for that as well. Where do you see your company in five years from now? I think um, a bit bigger, covering a lot more of the, um, the downstream. And um, we, we have an operation in Suriname and, of course, uh, Guyana. So, okay. so we see further expansion for uh, the needs for our sort of business down there. Yeah, the fledgling, they now started, and um, I think it's a brilliant market. And I, we bring good expertise, we bring good value to that market, at the same time recognizing that we have to do a transfer of knowledge, right, to get the Ghanese, um, um the power with, with what, what is expected in the oil and gas industry. So tell me real quick before I let you go, I know we have a lot more uh, guests to interview and a lot more exciting content coming up. But what are some of the things that you want to look for in a job force and in the human capital looking into the future? Right. So so the, that's a very good question. And we look at, at uh, young folks who are very IT savvy, mm. very IT savvy that, you know, could, could easily adapt to the sort of technology, the sort of IT, the sort of software that we are using in our inspections business, um, the robotics, the crawlers and 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 and. So that is what, what we look for the younger folks who have been using um, uh, who are IT savvy, really. And we can do the rest in training them how to use the equipment, you know, and they can think on their feet, um, think out the box. But then they get the job done safely and, and, and keep us on, on the forefront. And, and let me be a little provocative here. And is the older generation adapting just as easily or quickly to the use of the technology? Um, not as fast as I'd like to see it. It's very difficult to get accustomed to something new, yes. right? And, and and they have to also rely on somebody who can break down what the AI does. And 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 it's not meant to, to remove the human element altogether. What we're trying to do is with this is re- reduce the human element going into certain high risk areas. Yes. So yes, it's a bit um, it's a bit difficult at times getting it to the to the to the more senior persons. But I think you know the market is coming around when you look at the CEOs and the, and the whole management team. Very young people, very young people, and they embrace the technology. Exciting developments in the sector. We were just joined by HHSL's Anthony Vera. Stay with us. We'll be back with more content coming up next.